Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabatifillah. Our next lesson I want to talk about is what is called ahamiyya to tawheed, which means the importance of tawheed, the importance of monotheism, meaning that you worship only Allah alone. That's what it means. It means it's, it's important. It's the most important thing in this world. It's Tawheed. And we know that, the reason we know that that's the most important thing in this world is Tawheed. What's the most important thing? Uh huh. Meaning that we worship Allah alone. The way we know that is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al Kareem. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. That means that Allah created us to worship Him and Him alone. That's, that's, that's it right there. That is the, the, the essence of our creation. That's why we're created. We're not created just to make rules and regulations on the earth. No. We're not created to, uh, you know, make judgments about people. That's not why we're, we're created. We're created because, of? because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I've not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. So our divine purpose of ultimately why we do everything in Islam is to worship Allah alone. That's our creation. I mean, that's our created purpose. That's why we're here. And that is what all of our duty, when we mentioned the Arkan al-Islam, we said uh, the Shahada, we said the Salat, we said the Zakat, we said Ramadan, we said Hajj. All of that are acts, those are all acts of worship and belief that bring us closer to Allah and are acts of ibadah, and they fulfill that divine purpose of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And that's and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran as well, which Talibu Ta'gut. He says that uh, I sent we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone. And stay away from the Tagut, stay away from those things, worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that lets us know that our purpose again, and that all the messengers, alayhim afdal salatu wa salam, were sent to worship Allah alone, and to call to Allah alone, to make dua to Allah alone, make da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, tell the people about Allah alone to you know to practice Islam to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's what all the prophets from Adam and Isa to to uh, you know uh, whether it be Moses Ibrahim Isa uh, Muhammad alayhim afdal salatu wa salam Dawood all the prophets and, and messengers alayhim afdal salatu wa salam were sent to worship Allah alone and were sent to their people their various peoples to call them to Tawheed, to call them to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfill that divine purpose. And the only way we can do that is through knowledge. You have to have Islamic knowledge. You have to have knowledge of what Tawheed is. You have to have knowledge of what it means to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And we know that also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, makes that clear to us in the Qur'an when he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَعْلَمْ أَنُّهُ لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهُ وَسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Then know that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah alone, and seek forgiveness for yourselves and for the believing men and believing women. So that means that uh, you need knowledge to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need knowledge of tawheed. And you should seek forgiveness for yourself and seek forgiveness for the Muslims in general. You know, ask Allah to forgive them. Even when you see them making mistakes, you see them doing sins, you see them, as you said, having boyfriend and girlfriend. You see some Muslims celebrating the birth, birthday of the Prophet. You see Muslims doing this and that and all kind of bad things. And you should seek forgiveness for yourself and ask that Allah forgives them as well. 
And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us and blesses us that ilm al-nafi rizqin tayyibu wa ilm al-muttaqabbilin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.